subscribe and click the like icon. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Vara. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder. While proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate, males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. <laughs> I found him sitting alone. <gasps> Choo! Oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. <sighs> Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them! Oh no! He's lagging behind! Let's cheer him on, hero! Jetpack, activate! Oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. 
I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? He's hiding! It wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call an adult to help you. Ranger out. Be careful, Leo. There, all done. Huh? Why did it fly away? Is there something wrong with our birdhouse? I thought birds like birdhouses. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the Komodo National Park, and I found the most amazing thing ever. What did you find, Farah? Do you know which bird laid the egg? Hmm, it looks like a chicken egg. But I compared it with photos in my handbook, and the egg I found is different. It's bigger than a chicken egg. How exciting! I'm sure we can find out more on the computer. Great! See you later, hero! Let's see what type of bird laid the egg. That's not a bird at all. It's the egg of a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Farah found a dragon egg? It's not really a dragon, Leo. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world. They can be found on the many islands in Komodo National Park in Indonesia. Komodo dragons lay about 30 eggs in their nests. But I only found one egg. And it was on the ground with no nest in sight. Oh, no. Was the egg separated from its nest? <gasps> we have to return it. Don't worry, Farah. We'll be right over to help. OK, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Hi, Farah! Hi, Farah. Hi, guys. Huh? Uh-oh. Something's happening. <gasps> it hatched. Aw, it's so cute. Hello, baby Komodo dragon. <laughs> I'm sure its mother will be looking for it. We have to find its nest quick. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, hero? Whoa. A dragon. A Komodo dragon. Is that its mother? Let's take the baby over to her. Stop. I would not do that if I were you. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Why did you stop me from returning the baby Komodo dragon, Ranger Rocky? We do not know for sure if that adult Komodo dragon is its mom. Besides, Komodo dragons do not take care of their young. In fact, Adult Komodo dragons are often a danger to young Komodo dragons. Adult Komodo dragons are also venomous. 
you should be careful not to get bitten. If you do, you should see a doctor and get medical attention right away. Get medical attention right away. It looks like it's up to us to find a home for the baby Komodo dragon. Let's take it away before the adult sees us. <sighs> Too late! Now there were three of them, and they're coming right for us! Oh no! Hurry, Junior Rangers! Take the baby and go! I'll distract them! Got it, Ranger Rocky! <sighs> Easy! Easy! Look at how pretty and pink the sand is! This must be Pink Beach! It says here that the pink color comes from small bits of broken pink and red coral. When mixed with the white sand, the beach looks pink. It's really beautiful here. But is it the right place for the baby Komodo dragon? It seems safe and warm enough, but I don't think there's anything for it to eat. We'll have to find a better spot then. Ranger Rocky! I forgot to mention that a safe place for a baby Komodo dragon would be high up in the trees, where the adults can't reach them. Preferably a tree with insects for it to eat. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome, Leo. Ranger out! Bye, Ranger Rocky! Ranger out! We should find somewhere safe with trees and insects for the baby Komodo dragon. Oh, I know a place like that. Follow me! I found this place while scouting the island. There are plenty of trees around and it's really peaceful here. Best of all, there are insects in the trees. What do you think, Hero? Will this be a good place for our new friend? <coughs> the baby Komodo dragon seems to like the tree. <coughs> I think our new friend will be very happy here. We did it! We brought the baby Komodo dragon to safety! Mission accomplished! We had quite an adventure today, traveling to a mysterious island and battling dragons! Komodo dragons! Right! I'm glad we managed to find a safe home for the baby Komodo dragon! Hi, Junior Rangers! You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call an adult to help you. Ranger, Ranger out. out. <sighs> Off to shower and bed. <gasps> This glow-in-the-dark tennis set is so cool! Heads up, Katie! Yeah. Oof! Ow! Katie! Hero! Are you okay? I'm fine, but my racket isn't. Oh, we'll have to get it fixed later. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Leo, help! There's a huge spider at my window! Wow, that is huge! Are you okay? I'm fine, but what do I do about it? Let's use the computer to see what species it is. Stay calm and hang tight, Zari. Let's see. It's a golden orb spider. They can grow as big as an adult's hand. The golden orb spider usually lives in rainforests, but they adapt well to urban environments too. Golden orb spiders use venom which is a kind of poison to stop their prey from struggling once they've been caught in their web. But no worries, while their bites can hurt, they prefer not to bite humans. So all we need to do is stay away. But it's a bit hard to stay away from it when it's right there. I can't close my window with it hanging there. Don't worry, Zari, we'll help you move it away. Ranger out. Let's go catch a spider. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set! Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, we go. go! Sorry, we're 
Over here! Where are you? Over here! Why are you hiding? I'm scared! There's nothing to be afraid of. We just have to take it to a safe place in the forest. <gasps> Where's the spider? It could have gone outside. We have to find it and make sure it's safe. Let's go! It's such a big spider! Where could it even hide? There! I think I see it! Oh man, it's just a stain. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. I hear it too, Hero! Whoa! Oh, just a cat. We've searched everywhere. This side of the building, that side of the building, behind walls, inside bushes. Uh, Leo, look behind you. Behind me? Ah! <coughs> I'm fine. This is our chance. Quick, get the spider before it disappears. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was collecting data for research about spider webs when I ran into one and got stuck in it. We're dealing with a spider, too. We're trying to get it away from here before anyone hurts it. Very noble, Leo. But you might hurt it with your grabber. So how can we get him to safety? Actually, the spider is a she. Female golden orb spiders grow much larger than the males, so it's easy to tell them apart. The strands of their webs are thin, but also very strong. They're even strong enough to catch small birds. What makes this spider's silk unique is its golden color. This is where the golden orb spider gets the golden part of its name from. I trust you junior rangers will make sure the golden orb spider is safe we got it, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, Junior Rangers. So, how will we get the spider back to the forest without hurting it? I have an idea. Careful, and got it. We can use the spider's old web to transport her safely to the forest. Great thinking, Katie. Let's go. Where did the spider go now? She's up there. Jetpack, activate! I got her! Well done, Katie. Now back to the forest. You'll be safe here, Ms. Spider. She's building a new web. I think she likes it. And she's safe from harm. <sighs> I think it's time to sleep. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to get the golden orb spider somewhere safe. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call an adult to help you. Ranger out. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.